Wednesday, October 14th. We're about to pour the lentils. Prior to these videos, we had formed the footings down below, poured those. Then they had re-rod sticking up every so often. In this case, there are 40 of those vertically around the perimeter of the home. That's what these pieces of wood are being attached to the home temporarily for. As they, if they didn't, when they pour the top of the lintel, the concrete down those cells all the way to the bottom that would blow out the concrete would blow out so that keeps the concrete flush to flush inside the wall once it dries they'll come back tomorrow and peel those off of the wall as you can see they're all along the front they're in the columns they're along the side of the home all around the perimeter and again the purpose is to make this monolithic slab from the footing railing around with rebar up vertically in those spots 40 of them around the home approximately they'll go straight up to the top and then up there when we get to the next um, portion of this video you'll see that there's rebar all around the perimeter tied in to those rebars that go from top to bottom and along the top up there you'll see um, screens that'll stop the flow so that it doesn't come down every single cell, but only those. Okay. Wednesday, October 14th, we're continuing. I'm going to climb the stairs above those two um, inspection points that are now covered. And again, those are connecting from the footing below vertically upward. Then a dowel is placed from the top to the bottom to connect those. We're going to climb the stairs and I'm going to show you how those are connected. As you can see, we're directly above it, and there's a vertical rod, re rod down there. And there's a vertical re rod down that slot. But in between, there's a screen, and that's to stop the concrete from filling every cell. Again, that's to tie all this together. The next step will be concrete will be delivered, and hurricane straps will be installed. So we'll be back up here momentarily. Wednesday, October 14th. The man on the top has a hose that is filling the lintel along the top as well as we keep speaking about the from top to bottom where those wood panels are. There's a rebar connecting all of that to the footings from there all along the perimeter. This gentleman out here is putting um, hurricane straps up on the top of those two columns. Those will form an outside cover porch. If you look over there a little closer look at that spot there there's a hole he used his hammer to create a hole and the reason he did that is because the screen on top was plugged so that opening didn't have an opening they had like mistakenly put a screen across the top of it so anyways he opened it up and he poured into there to fill that as you can see down there the wood connection okay so that's the reason for the hole in the wall and he continues to move along the top bridge, filling the lintels. October 14th, I'm on top of the block, and you see all the hurricane straps. You see they fill the lintel with concrete around the entire perimeter of the home. Each of those X's around the house has a hurricane strap that will have a truss attached to it. So, and also you'll see they remove those wood um, covers. And let's get out here. You can see that that proves that the concrete went from, is full from the top, from the bottom to the top in each one of those areas. So that's it. So the next step will be trusses and the interior partitions. Tomorrow we'll talk about tomorrow we'll talk about structure, what makes a structural membrane or structural wall and what is non-bearing and the difference in the meaning. Alright, thank you.